Aloha kakahiaka and happy Thursday everyone. Happy fall season, happy October, my favorite time of the year. My name is Aniela and I'm a coach with the Be With Your Twin Flame program. We are in this wonderful fall mood, this Halloween mood. You know, lately it's just been, so, I, it, I just love this time of the year. It's so cool and it just, it's, it's getting ready to go into a really happy time of the year, the holiday season. And um, we are talking today about something that is so um, related to all of the things you see out there. The Halloween movies, the Halloween theme, the things that freak you out and scare you shitless. <laughs> We're talking about those kind of things today. And I'm talking about stalking the twin flame. Do I know all about this? I absolutely do, folks, because hey, A number one right here. So you're going to want to stay tuned because I am going to tell you something that is going to absolutely knock your shoes off. It's probably going to be something that you don't even realize right now. But when we're talking about stalking your twin flame, you know, think of this, think of this, picture this. You know, these are one of the images in my mind that I used to have as a child that used to scare the shit out of me. <laughs> it did, because it was just so odd. You know, think of these Halloween movies and think of the villains and the bad guys and the monsters in those movies. You know, you're walking down the street and there's a street lamp and you see, you know, the mask. You see the knife, you see the wig or whatever you want to call it, and they're there just looking at you. <laughs> they're looking at you. You look out a window. They, they have the characters in these movies looking out a window, and boom, there's that face, you know, looking at you. <laughs> I look at I look at that and I have memories and I laugh a little but man you know when I stop and think about it those kind of things used to freak me out you know I, I, I can always remember seeing these scenes in these movies where you're kind of hurrying along and you turn around and you feel like you've gone quite a ways you turn around and you look and he's there he's behind you he's looking at you he's got that mask on his face He's got that knife in his hand. If you remember those and you remember the feelings that you had with those, it is very funny when you stop and think that a lot of us, you know, metaphorically and even in the physical when it comes to energy, that's what we're doing when we are watching, watching our twin flame. It's crazy. It's crazy. In fact, someone told me, you know, when I was in the very, very early of my, my twin uh, stages of my twin flame journey, in the very beginning of my journey, excuse me, um, that, you know, like if I'm looking on social media and I'm checking out all these things, you know, I'm stalking my TF and I'm like, no, no, that's not stalking. <laughs> no, it's public information. They put it on there, folks. When it comes to this journey, and even in 3D, it is, it is. And the funny, funny thing, when you think about it in those movies, you know, you, you turn a corner, you look behind you, you look ahead of you. There's that stalker, that, that villain, that bad guy monster from the movie. They're stalking you, they're watching you. At least you know. <laughs> At least, there's the difference. You knew. You knew he was coming to get you. You knew he was coming to get the character, the main character in that movie. You knew it. You knew it. She was dead meat. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh. But that's the difference between that and stalking your twin flame is because most of the time, I'm sure, you make it very unknown that you are stalking your twin flame. You make it very unknown until what I used to hear in from my coach, El Hari, very early in my journey. It's unknown until you accidentally, especially on social media we're talking folks, hit the like button, right? You're looking, looking, looking. Oh my gosh, you're holding your phone. You're, you're on your laptop, you're looking, and oops, the cough, the, the water went to spill. The phone went to fall. Click, like, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Do you remember how you used to feel when seeing these characters in the movie? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. <laughs> like I said, 
Someone had told me, and I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe that. You know, Ella used to tell me all the time, it's not helping you, I mean, Ella, it doesn't help you. You know, she used to, that was totally what I needed to hear. And when she was able to get that message to me, Aniela, you're stalking, and that's not helping your fear-based energy. I was like, oh, shit, shit. I didn't realize what I was doing. So, folks, when you're doing that, why? Why are you doing that? You know, if people do not want to believe for one second that this, this journey is an energetic journey, they're doing that for two reasons. Actually, when you're looking at it from 3D because you refuse to look at it as an energetic journey. When you're looking at it just from a 3D perspective, you're trying to get as much information as you possibly can. And I don't know one student of mine and I don't know one instance of my own that I did the same thing and came away feeling great. <laughs> now, you see shit on there and you're like, oh my God. What? what? And you go looking some more. Is that you? Because that was me. That was me. And when I wasn't looking at it as an energetic journey, that's what I was. Just looking for anything, anything. And all the crap I would see would drive me absolutely crazy. It made it worse. It made my fear-based energy shoot up so bad that I didn't know my head from my ass. I didn't know north from south, up from down. It would just drive me crazy. When you are looking at it as an energetic journey, that's you, that's you, the addicted person to this energy, trying to get a hit of the physical form of the twin flame. It purely, folks, is energetic. It purely is energetic, whether you want to accept that or not. And when you realize and accept this is an energetic journey, you can shift it. When you start telling yourself, no, I need to know those things because I just need to know. That is absolute bullshit. How does knowing what's going on every minute of the twin flame going on in their life, how does knowing help you? Most of the time, as was in my journey, when I'm looking, when I'm looking, I'm, I'm not coming away feeling better about myself. I felt worse. And it was so bad for me that I had to shut down all of my social media because I absolutely could not trust myself to not look. Some of you need to do that. Many people have had to do that because when they stop and they get further on and realize this is an energetic journey, they're just feeding their addiction. And that's what it boils down to. So earlier I was telling you, you know, if you want to look at something that's absolutely going to blow your mind and knock your shoes right off your feet, if your twin flame has blocked you folks, trust me, they're doing you the biggest favor you could possibly, possibly have done for you because it's cutting off that feed that you can't stop yourself and it's okay <laughs> it is okay it hurts it feels like absolute shit don't i know it it feels like absolute shit but if they did block you folks trust me there is a way to get this energy back down so that you can enjoy things again, so that you can stop looking again and making yourself feel worse every single time. Worse, worse, worse. You just keep going down and down and down in how you feel. There is definitely a way and that's why we're here. So if you can learn to look at this instead of my twin flame did this to me, my twin flame is doing this to me. No, they're not doing anything, folks. It's just an energetic journey that you just happen to be trying to get a fix over. That's what's going on here. We wouldn't lie to you, we wouldn't bullshit you, and we especially can help you get out of it. So when you're ready, to get down off of this con constant circle and feed that goes on when you stalk your Tia, you come and see us. That's what we have the link for. And we, folks, can help you. Hey, I was like social, social media anonymous. I had to shut everything down because I could not 
trust myself to not look. That's how bad that addiction is. And you know what? It's okay. It's okay. You're not going to change anything unless you realize that's what's happening here. You know, there's no right, there's no wrong, but it's always about, am I feeding my fear-based energy by stalking? Yes, I am. How do I not do this when it feels like I can't stop? Click on that link below and we'll show you how. Alrighty, folks, I'm sending you love out there. Have a wonderful Thursday. We'll talk to you again, again soon. Ahoy ho and malama pono. Bye, everybody.